you know, anxiety shows up like many of us expect it does. You know, you got kids who are highly anxious about certain situations coming up. And uh, oftentimes there's irritability that comes with that. Sometimes they have difficulty sleeping. Uh, it's really a, it's almost uh, like a small worry uh, on steroids. So it gets much bigger. It becomes something that starts to really impact their day-to-day -day functioning. And really anxiety, at least in the world of mental health, can show up in, in different areas and, and in different ways. So I, I was part, part once of a truancy intervention project. And usually the, the kids that we would see with anxiety that would often, uh, that would lead to truancy would be kids that, for instance, have severe, what we call separation anxiety. These are kids who are often fearful of something bad happening to their parent, uh, either when they're away, like at school, or they may have nightmares about it. Uh, they really uh, have difficulty being apart from them for any extended period of time. So school oftentimes uh, becomes very difficult for them to go to and attend or even uh, pay attention to when they're in there because they're often focused on more what's going on with a parent who isn't with them at the time. Also shows up a bit like social phobia. These are kids who have great difficulty uh, engaging in social interactions with others, particularly peers. Uh, these are kids who are often uh, assuming the worst in social situations. For instance, they may be going down a hallway, they'll see a couple kids laughing uh, as they walk down the hall and they'll assume it's about them. And they're often really deathly afraid of doing anything that would make them stand out from other people. So they tend to withdraw, tend to not want to be around, uh, especially groups of, of, of peers. And so uh, anxiety can show up that way too. So there's any number of different ways that it can show up. You know, as a, as a parent though, when you're trying to uh, help your kid in these situations, uh, there's, there's a, I, I would call it a grand irony. And the grand irony is that in order for you to help your kid overcome or at least cope better with their anxiety is they have to experience the anxiety. And that is so hard as the parent to see your kid struggling. And it's not that we're going to take away the struggle, but we're, as a parent, you need to make it more manageable. And so a couple things just to keep in mind as part of that. Anxiety is very future focused, could be five seconds, five minutes, five years, doesn't matter, sometime in the future. And in, in particular it is focused on a negative uh, future, meaning they're imagining bad things happening in the future. 